What's going on you guys? KB on a camera here and I've been watching a lot of paranormal videos lately. Uh, again, uh, I don't believe as you guys know, but I've been watching these Huff Paranormal videos. So I decided I was going to turn on my ghost box and play with it. And I decided I wasn't going to record it. Stupid mistake. Because the first question I asked was how many fingers am I holding up? And it instantly said two. And I was holding up two fingers. So then I asked how many fingers am I holding up again, which was five. And it said five. So I decided one more time, who am I? And in this creepy ass voice, he goes, Michael! So that scared the shit out of me. So I decided to turn on the camera this time and get recording. Just to see if we pick something else up equal. Did you hear speak? Are you friendly? How many fingers am I holding up? Friendly. Are you dead or alive? Dead. Do you see a light? No. Oh, dog. Are you dead or alive? Probably. Hey, youngins. <clears throat> Grandpa, here. No, it ain't kid behind the camera. It's not princess. It's me. It's me. It's A-G-P. Man, I heard something this morning. Kind of called my drawers cram up my ass. You know what I mean? You know, I'm not a prejudice. And you know, I don't care what color you are, where you're from. Be true to yourself. Be true to me. And we're good to go. And you know, I got a lot of gay youngins out there. I backed them 100%. You know, this is America, and we have liberties, and we have freedoms that most countries don't share. And being what you want to be in life is one of them. I like Fox News. I know y'all out there, y'all saying, Fox News. I like Fox News. I don't care about the Bill O'Reilly's and the Sean Hannity's and... And, and 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 the Megan's up. I like Megan. She hot. Yeah, she good looking woman. But to me, Fox News only has one real reporter. Only one person who actually tells the news like it's real and doesn't hide behind his feelings. And that reporter is Shepard Smith. I'll watch Shepard Smith because he, 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 first place, he doesn't lose your, you know, your attention. He gives you the news. He gives you all the news, both sides. He don't care if you're Republican, you're Democrat, what you is. Shepard Smith is going to give you the news like it's real. Well, I heard this morning, never knew this about the boy. Shepard Smith is gay. He's out of the closet. He has a boyfriend. His boyfriend works there at uh, Fox News, too. That doesn't disturb me, because I don't care. That Shepard has nothing to do with his news or his will. They got to do together. What bothers me is that last summer, Shepard tried to come out of the, out of the, out of the closet with Fox, on Fox News. Now, Shepard had two different news shows. He came on, I hear what, 3 o'clock? And then he came on again at 7 o'clock. And those two hours a day, I watched the news because Shepard told it all. He went to Fox News and asked them about coming out of the closet. They told him, no. Stay in your closet, Shepard. You know, you, you're a good guy and all, but stay there, man. Don't come out. And I don't know. Hell no. You just stay in the closet, Shepard. So Shepard stayed in the closet, but what did he get for it? He had one of those news shows taken away. 
they had to accommodate Megan. Well, I'm going to tell you, youngins. Fox News can kiss my fat ass. Why are you holding that man down? Because he's gay. Shepard Smith, you go, boy. I'm behind you 100%. And if you ever want to take on Fox News, let old grandpa know. Because we'll go after their ass. Bye, youngins. Isn't it cool? He thought you would really like it. Okay, but he bought you Call of Duty to go with it, and then it's got that. So my sister's fiance's boyfriend, his uh, my si I worded that crazily. Anyway, my sister's fiance, his birthday is in, a, in about a week, and I got him a PlayStation 4 for his birthday. You know, the guy works all the time, he's a hard worker, he doesn't really do much, so I decided, you know, for his birthday I would get him a PS4. And I guess he didn't like it. I guess that's what that was about. He didn't care. So, Kim, if you, I don't know, if you got it, if you want to take it back, you could do that, you know? You got the receipt. <laughs> all right, Bells, here you go. Sorry, Clyde. Oh. There you go, buddy. Poor little thing. Go ahead, Clyde. Well, it is Throwback Thursday, which means I'm going to tell you another story. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the time that I was knocked unconscious in school in the first grade. It was around the last week of the first grade, which would have been late June, which is why I'm telling the story today. Uh, up in Columbia, I don't know if they still do, but when I was going to school there, summer began uh, the beginning to the middle of June. And so the last week of school, they decided they were going to start doing construction on the playground equipment. So they made an announcement over school that morning. Uh, children, please stay off the wooden playground equipment. They are being constructed. Specifically, they wanted everybody to stay off the wooden bridge. You know, those playground equipments, they got like a little bridge that kids can run across and stuff. Well, the bridge was gone. And they made an announcement over school that it was gone and to stay off of it. So we eat lunch and we learn whatever the fuck you learn in the first grade. And then comes recess. And all the kids go running out and everybody's playing on everything except for the wooden playground equipment. And usually the wooden playground equipment is the coveted toy to play with at school. You know, it was like a big jungle gym and it was high and it was all made of wood and it had swings and slides and the bridge and everybody loved it. And it was usually always too full for all the children to play on it. So there was only a limited amount of children allowed to play on it, which usually excluded me because our class got to recess last. So I get outside, I'm looking around and I'm going, oh my God, the wooden playground equipment's free. So I decided I was going to run and get on that wooden playground equipment. Not remembering the announcement that went over the school earlier in the day, not giving a fuck that I'm about to be unconscious. So here I am, climbing up the ladder to get to the wooden playground equipment, because it's high. It is really high off the ground. And I hear teachers calling my name, Michael, Michael, what are you doing? But I'm still going, and here I am, do 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 then boom. I woke up in the nurse's office. I don't know how long it had been, but obviously that means I had passed out. I wa The only thing I remember was falling and waking up. So at some point I fell, uh, t teachers rushed to my aid and carried me to the nurse's office. None of this I remembered happening. I just remember waking up and seeing my grandma's face and she was not happy. Come on you little shit. So I get in her car, and we're riding down the street, and she's lecturing me. You shouldn't be getting them stuff. You know you ain't supposed to be doing it. <sighs> I know they made the announcement. Dad was actually following in the truck behind her, and so she pulls off to the gas station. You want to get something to eat? Oh, let's go to Lizard's Thicket. Lizard's Thicket is... I guess it was considered upscale for us at the time. It's somewhere in Columbia. Haven't been in years. I don't know what kind of food they sell, but it's called Lizard's Thicket. And Dad wanted to go to it. So she all right, let's go to Lizard's Thicket. So I'm in her car in the passenger seat. Dad's following behind us. We're driving down the street. And as we pull into Lizard's Thicket, I just puke all in her car. She slams on her brakes. She gets out the car. She's pissed off. Dad pulls up beside her. I guess we ain't going to live sick of goddamn. Grandma gets pissed off at me, makes me clean it. Dad gets pissed off that we don't go to Lizard's Thicket, and he goes home. Nobody cared about me. No, oh, Michael, are you okay? How do you feel? You just passed out. 
you were unconscious because you fell to the ground really hard. Nobody cares about that. All they cared about is the fact that they can't go to Lizard's Thicket for lunch. And that's the story for Throwback Thursday, the time that I was in the first grade, fell off the wooden cra little cra on playground equipment, the wooden playground equipment, became unconscious, threw up in the car, and got bitched out about it. Hey, Dad. What? Do you remember the time that uh, I was in the first grade and I fell off the wooden playground equipment? Yes. That's, goddamn, that was millions of years ago. And remember, because uh, I puked in Grandma's car when we were going to Lizard's Thicket? Yeah, she called, she called you a little piece of shit and told you you had to clean her car out. Exactly. Yeah, that story. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that now. I don't think you cared either. I give a damn. Nah, dude, we're just kidding. Oh. You like it? PS4, though. Uh, 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 Much appreciated. So I just watched Kim's video she uploaded about the PS4, and I guess it was a prank. She sent me the video file earlier of just Kyle opening it and not really caring about it and saying, oh, you should have sent me the money. And it turned out it was a joke. Some people are going to say something about his real reaction, uh, that he didn't really say anything, but that's the kind of person Kyle is. He's a silent person. He's shy. He's really shy to the camera. Uh, he's not used to being filmed. I think that was actually the first time he's been on video. So he liked it. That's cool. Glad you liked the PlayStation 4. Happy birthday. Enjoy your vacation. And I'm looking at the beautiful clouds. That really does look nice. That's awesome. So that's going to be it for today. We play with the ghost box. I told my throwback Thursday story. Talk to dad. Kyle got his PlayStation 4 for his birthday. If you want to check out that video, the link is below. Glad you liked it, Kyle. Glad you like it, Kim. You can, uh... And, oh yeah, and the silver thing is called PlayStation Plus. <laughs> she, I guess she, she's used to having the Xbox Gold. And if you have silver Xbox, then you can't watch Netflix and stuff, which is absurd. PlayStation, you don't have to pay a, you know, live fee just to get access to something. So, anyway, I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, hope you guys like the video. Ghost Box, that was strange. Check out Huff Porn Paranormal. Huff Paranormal. His link is below. You can check out some of his stuff. So, that's it. Thank you very much, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it.